Hey, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are going to make something delicious for Thanksgiving. What are we making, Farah? Um, potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> so we're going to make some mashed potatoes, but we're going to do it a little different. We're going to add in some mashed cauliflower to it. It's not going to be a mashed cauliflower pretending to be potatoes. There's going to be actual potatoes in there too. So it's good if you have family who is a little skeptical about eating healthy. This will kind of ease them in. Oh, 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 oh. This thing is in my head. So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to cut up some potatoes and you are going to boil them till they are soft. I just use these little, Farrah sweetie, I just use these little um, baby potatoes and I get those in the big giant bag from Costco. Um, you can also use russet potatoes or whatever potatoes you want to use. Okay, so first we're going to do, so these are boiled potatoes. You can't do that. Okay, you just got to push down like this and mash them. Okay. okay? And the other potatoes. Yeah, we're going to do that in a minute. Okay, let me help you. So we're just going to mash these potatoes. Sweetie, <coughs> can you stand here? Because look, there's another camera. And you're blocking it. I've got two cameras. I'm just touching of my, um, thing. Of my fofo. Mm-hmm. So I can turn it off. Yeah. And that on the views and that's on the Okay, so now that I have these potatoes pretty roughly mashed, I'm gonna take this frozen cauliflower. Um, this this is just the Kroger brand, and I follow the directions on the back, and I microwave it for five minutes. Um, after that's done, I just put it in a food processor and I puree it. So I'm just going to add that into our mashed potatoes. And then I'm just going to kind of mix it in with the potatoes. There's definitely more potatoes in here than there are um, than there is cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's more, um, and you can actually play around with this recipe too, and you can slowly start to increase the amount of cauliflower that you use in this. You can make it 50-50 split, or you can even make it mostly cauliflower with just a little bit of potato. And um, Mom, I can't do that. It's, okay, you can do that in just a second. Yeah. And so that's just really just up to you how you want to make this. If you are just starting to get your family to Ooh, get on board with eating healthy, fussy. Um, it's kind of better to ease them in. So you can just start with a smaller amount of <coughs> cauliflower and then just, <coughs> you know, up it. That's Plus, this is a great way to sneak in some extra vitamins and minerals as well. Okay, so I think that I'm done mashing this. I think that's as mashed as I want to get it. Now it's time to season it. <coughs> Okay, so I have the recipe on my on my vlog, um, but I'm going to tell you what it is here. So first, um, I put all the spices and seasonings into this little bowl just to make it easier, but I have a quarter teaspoon of oregano, I have a half a teaspoon of basil, hold on, um, one tablespoon of fresh parsley that I cut up, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Then my recipe calls for garlic butter, but I'm out of garlic butter, so what I did instead is I just added some extra garlic powder to here. And I'll just use some normal ah, butter. I'll chat this, Mom. <laughs> okay, you gonna pour this in, CD? Mm -hmm. okay, go ahead. Can I pour all of it? Yeah, pour it all. Good. Very good. And then this is just kind of to start with the seasonings. Oh, why not do that? Afterward, we're gonna just add some more just taste, like some extra salt. If we can I do it? it? Yeah, so pour this in. All of it? Yeah, get it all in there. Good. Good. And then I added in a half a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Um, you can also use sour cream in place of it, but we just use Greek yogurt in here. And now I'm going to add in some butter. I said butter. And then okay. after that, maybe you'll get mixing. 
Um, yes, sweetie. Okay. And after that, we're going to get mixed in again. Okay. Yep. So at this point, I'm just going to do a little Can test. Taste that too? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So I actually feel pretty good about the level of salt in here as well. It's so I'm not going to add anything this. else. It's off this. We're going to wash it in a minute, babe. Okay, so that's it. So that's like a little slightly healthier version of mashed potatoes. Um, if your potatoes are... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> If your potatoes are a little bit dry, um, you can also add in some milk or just, you know, the normal ingredients, but for me that's pretty good. Okay, and you can stop there and just enjoy the mashed potatoes as they are with whatever pot roast or whatever you want to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a, I don't know what I would call it, like a buffalo potato bake. So I'm going to take the mashed potatoes that we already had layer them in an oven safe dish then I'm going to take six ounces of chicken that I just mixed with some Frank's red hot sauce and the buffalo flavor hot sauce and I'm just going to spread that around on here Good. okay and then I'm going to take um, some Colby Jack, some Colby Jack cheese, and hold on. Here you are, you cutie. And I'm gonna grate some cheese over the top. Wow! Last video. <laughs> Last video. And this is just kind of just to taste however much cheese you want to add on here. And I like to freshly grate my cheese. Um, I think it melts better and it goes a lot longer of a way, you know, because if you get the free shredded, these? it's not shredded as thin. Hold on, Farrah. Um, whereas if you shred it yourself, it gets super thin and it just covers more area with less cheese. So, okay. No, oh. well, can I do it? Um, Yes, and then I was going to add these green onions on at the end, but Farah's just going to dump those on for you. Because <laughs> I was going to bake this first, but it's fine. We can have the green, onion, green onions on top while we bake it. And we're just going to bake it until the cheese melts because everything else in here is already cooked. So, here we go. Put it in the oven. Alright guys, so that's it for our video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you like the recipes that we shared and hopefully you try it out and let us know how they turned out. Um, I just wanted to remind you that starting on Monday we have our new series called Macro Mondays and I'm going to share everything with you about IIFYM and what I'm doing personally to track the food I eat and everything like that. So, so yeah, so please check out our video on Monday as well. Did you make it messy out me? I didn't make it messy without you. Oh. Okay, you ready? Hold on. Fine, you can hold it for a second. <laughs> Look, it looks like that, so you don't put it Is that what that's for? Huh. That looks like. Okay, ready?